My name is Michael Lee. I'm the chef owner of M Restaurants in Durham, North Carolina. And sushi, then coco, then tempura, and then pocha. There's a lot of foodie uh, vibe, uh, energy uh, coming from Durham, and we like to contribute to it. We want to concentrate in Durham and bring cuisine that is not here. Durham really punches above its weight on dining experiences, and Michael has been a huge part of that. Michael's restaurants have gotten a lot of accolades uh, from a lot of different places. They've hit the top 100, top 50 new restaurants in the U.S. These are places that are real destinations people plan to come to. M does stand for my name, Michael, uh, but it wasn't my idea. <laughs> my wife and I were drinking a couple of glasses of wine at home six, seven years ago, trying to think of the name of the restaurant we wanted to do. We couldn't come up with one good name, you know? It was all being used, and uh, after a couple of glasses of wine, uh, you know, she had a brush and uh, just a paper laying around because she likes to draw. She's a design and also an art student back in the day, so she just kind of drew the M with the brush, just, uh, just out of the moment. And that is actually the M logo that we have. In the beginning, I didn't like it. I didn't want to name a restaurant you know, after my name or initials, but uh, after my wife and I kept discussing, it, it, it sounded like the right idea, so that it kind of ties it in, letting people know that it is ours, but at the same time, it's not straight out there like Michael's Sushi or anything, so. <laughs> But uh, my wife was the one who uh, came up with that. Michael's four restaurants are all within three, four blocks of each other. They're all in very unique kinds of locations in the middle of downtown. Two of them are down a little cobble alleyway. M Sushi is just this very warm, cozy kind of atmosphere. M Coco is right behind it, kind of have to know that it's there. Then you feel like you're in this little secret spot. M Pocha, by comparison, is on one of the more famous corners in downtown Durham. And the M Tempura restaurant is in a historic part of town. You might think that, oh, well, he started a chain, and that's not it at all. What he started is four completely different concepts, and you have different experiences in each one. All right, your next course. This is a Wagyu beef, very thinly sliced, and as the uh, broth heats up even more, you will continue to cook, so you can cook it as well as you like to eat it. So we opened M Sushi first to focus on seafood, kind of set the ground as a foundation. Obviously, sushi is Japanese cuisine. I am not. I'm from Korea. So I get asked a lot, you know, what, what made Japanese cuisine my passion? I think part of the reason was that was my first professional food job. Second, back then, Korean food was not considered a fine dining dish. But in reality, Korean cuisine has always been, you know, part of me. Being able to make kimchi and my parents approve of it, you know, that was kind of like my life goal, you know, in the beginning stages. So after we successfully opened the M Sushi uh, and it was running well, we opened M Coco. And coco is a slang. Coco is kind of like how sometimes in Korea we the sound of chicken, coco, and so coco was focused on poultry and chicken. Tempura came about because my wife and I love to visit Japan, and we miss eating tempura dishes every time you know, we wait for the trip. It's not available in America a lot, and we thought maybe you know try this concept out. Year after that, we opened on pocha. And pocha is a short term for pojang matcha. Pojang matcha, uh, direct translation is a tented cart that you push around. So it's like street food, kind of like the Asian sports bar. We like to play around with food that is good to share, to be had with some drinks. It's a fun project that we were able to kind of like play around with a lot of different things that we aren't able to do at sushi, coco, or tempura. You can't go to one of his restaurants and say you've experienced the empire, you've really got to go to each one of them. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. You know, our vision for the future has not changed much from the beginning. Do something that adds to the value of the space and in the neighborhood. That's our focus, so 
uh, you know, there's a lot of different concepts that we have drawn up and we actually have menus for, but which one will go first, we don't know. You can find four of the M restaurants in downtown Durham, all within a several block radius. All restaurants are open for lunch and dinner hours and are closed on Sundays and Mondays. To learn more and view their menus, visit m-restaurants.com.